We're opening up a new box of Deathfields models today, and inside are 24 multi-part hard plastic 28mm minis, ready to partake in the greatest sport. Now we're as surprised as you probably are that Wargames Atlantic has invested what must be a sizable amount of money and time in a range of miniatures devoted to lacrosse. But we suppose the public gets what the public wants, and what the public wants is... Wait, no, I'm being told that it's not lacrosse, it's actually war. The, the greatest sport is war. Crikey, 2020 really has been a rough one, hasn't it? Well, there we go. And yes, it must be admitted that to some extent, this rambling intro is in place to stall having to try and correctly pronounce the name of these stout space warriors. But we can't do that anymore, so let's just commit. Say Ayn Ra with a soft J, and as much confidence as possible, and the hope that people who might know better will forgive us, then we'll dig inside the box. Inside that box are eight identical frames, each containing enough parts to build three Ainara, and with a wide range of options. And we mean a really wide range of options. Each frame will leave you with 10 unused heads, so that's 80 spares in total to throw into your bits box from the full set. And the generosity isn't limited to just heads, there's tons of weapon options and other extras available as well. But first, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, these models will certainly be a great proxy in place of Games Workshop's mostly thrown into the archives range of squats, also known as space dwarfs. But while there are some elements of crossover and style, for the most part, these Wargames Atlantic Ainara have their own distinctive feel and design aesthetic. We like that. It would have been pretty easy to do a more direct ripoff, but there's something cool about these models. They're in a world of their own. The armor and weapons, they seem a little more slick. They're refined and they're clean. Yes, they'll still fit into grimdark worlds if that's your thing, but they're almost closer to Star Trek or Star Wars than Warhammer 40k to some degree. Armor panels are sharp. They're placed over jumpsuit type undergarments. Weapons are fairly refined too, with rifles, grenade launchers, flame weapons and plasma blasters taking design cues from all kinds of things. It may be that it was a recent watch for us, but the uh, M41A Pulse Rifle from Alien springs to mind here. It's not just ranged weapons. There are axes and shields available too, though they are in more limited supplies. There's just one shield per frame. The axes in particular look really great, and again, they're quite a distinct design choice with their sharp lined multi-part construction and the cutout on the axe heads giving them a look of a modern military hatchet. And because all these parts, along with other pouches, sidearms, comms packs, uh, and a horn come on the frames, you can easily create a multitude of squats. Um, space dwarves, wait, Ainara. Oh, we knew it'd get us. The build process is generally easy enough, but there are some points where the fit of parts makes things a little trickier. Or to be more exact, the lack of fit. For one, there's no instructions, which means some guesswork has to be put in to how certain weapons join to the offhand. We think we got it right on our build, but even then, they didn't quite line up correctly. It's not the worst thing, but it does make construction slightly troublesome. There's also an issue with the fur roughs that can be added to the models. These roughs are optional, but they're really cool. However, we found that with some heads, it was kind of impossible to fix them in place correctly. Where the neck met the torso, it did not meet, unless we trimmed things down. So that's not great either. But it certainly doesn't stop this kit from offering a great range of models, and at a really good price. The box is just £25, which is about $33, US and if you buy multiples from the Wargames Atlantic website, the per price model drops below £1 per mini, and that's really not bad at all. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime. Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.